We start with the OB1 pressure driven flow controller on the bench. The OB1 is connected to a compressed air source. Next to the OB1, we have a heated bath to keep liquids at 37 degrees and a CO2 incubator for the cells on chip. So first, we connect pneumatic tubing from the pressure driven flow controller to a liquid reservoir. Then we connect the PTFE tubing for liquid from the reservoir to the bubble trap, which traps and removes any small air bubbles. Then we connect the bubble trap to the flow sensor, which measures and controls the flow rate via a feedback cable. Then we connect a piece of resistance tubing, which offers resistance to flow due to its much smaller inner diameter, enabling better control over flow stability. And then we connect to the chip. Now this liquid will be perfused through one of the side channels of the chip. To add flow to the other side channel, we duplicate the setup to connect a second liquid, liquid reservoir, bubble trap, flow sensor, piece of resistance tubing, and finally to the second side channel of the chip. And our tubing is cut long enough to be able to move the chip into a CO2 incubator.